my channel. I hope you're all a okay. Today we'll be doing a Primark haul. I really want to pick all the bags up and show you, but there's four and they're full. So bear with. One, two, three, four, right. Four bags. Let me have Oh my God. Mama went crazy in Primark, I'm not gonna lie. I am part of a group on Facebook, if you guys don't know about it, it's called Primark Hall. Hall. The ladies in there are absolutely amazing and they always post about the new stuff in there and I'm always like, ooh, maybe I'll pop in, maybe I'll pop in. And I always pop in and spend so much. So because of that, I now have four bags full of Primark things. Um, and I'm really excited to share them with you. So basically, it's gonna be a try and haul as always, I will leave me probably this side so you can see the tree i love my tree so much so we'll keep him out there and then i'll put the trying bits there so let's just dive in kids right first things first i got this on a one-off trip to primark but i thought i would include it anyway because it's still new in it and i really really love it so it's like an off white cream cardigan and this is not usually my thing at all if you've been here for a while you would know that that this is just like this is not you, Sophie, like, we're confused. Um, I wore this as a top. I've actually worn it already, and I fell in love. It's ribbed cardigan, and then the shoulders are a little bit of a puffy, ruched shoulder, and then the gold buttons on it coming down. I feel like this looks so much more expensive than it is. I feel like this looks like a Zara piece, almost. I know everyone says that in their Primark hauls, but I generally do. I don't know the price of this one, like I said, I have already worn it and I got it in an extra large, but I fell in love. Now you will notice throughout this haul, I seem to have adopted a cream, a white, a beige colour scheme at the moment. Don't know where that's come from, but basically everything I brought is that colour, so. If you like that colour, you're going to love this haul. If you hate that colour, please keep watching just to give me the views, but you won't enjoy it as much. I picked up this pair of leggings now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure how I feel about them. I got them in a large and they were £10. And they are, like I said, like a beige stone leather look legging. I love the seam at the front, like I love that detail so much. There's a pair of Nike joggers that have them that I'm obsessed with. Um, yeah, I love that detail. But they almost off, I haven't tried any of this on apart from that cardigan. Off the hanger and off the body, they don't look very pleasing or very nice or good quality. However, I hope when they when I try them on that they look better. With everything I was buying, and then this was one of the last things I saw. Everything else that was in my basket, I was like, I need some pants with these. So I saw this and I was like, right, we'll give it a go. And obviously you can always return it. She doesn't know that you can't try it on, but hey ho. In three different colours. I got them all on a large. Don't judge me. They were all six pounds. Yes. They were all six pounds. And they are a ribbed, very soft, high neck, turtleneck kind of situation. I thought in the winter this would be absolutely perfect. It's a lovely like layering piece as well. So I got it in the cream. I got it in the camel slash tan. The black as well. Like I said, I'm very into neutrals at the moment. I don't know where this has come from, but it's just come from somewhere. I picked up a skirt. I got this in a size 16 and it was 10 pounds. It's a pleather black skirt. It looks very normal, very standard. However, woo we've got a little flap and a little button that isn't, it's not sat right at the waist, which I like. Like it's not sat right at the top. It kind of comes down to the sides. So it's got a bit of an as asymmetric, look at me. All these fancy words. It's got a bit of an asymm asymmetricness to it. Um, and I thought this with a pair of black tights, boots, and then the majority of things I brought, like the camel top, the black top, the cardigan. It'll all work out. So I got that. The next thing is I'm well aware is gonna be a hate it or a love it. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be majority hate, which is fine. I know that it is a knock. Well, mm, I know it's a replica. But, and I don't usually go for that, but I love this. And I'll just show you. I got, <laughs> I got the Mickey and Minnie Mouse pouch. I know it's meant to be like the Louis Vuitton one. 
and I feel like if it didn't have all of the Mickey stuff on there and the mini stuff, like if it didn't have them printed on there, if it didn't have this, if it didn't have the um, zip as a Mickey head, then I would not have got it. It would look like a really bad Cheetham Hill replica. But because it is so Disney, I was like, I can do this. And I'm a massive Disney fan. I love going to Disney. I would only wear this in Disney. I'm not gonna lie, I would not wear it here. Um, I'm just not that brave. Um, but I love it. So it's like a little pouch here, like a shouldery thing. And you've got a bigger compartment, a littler compartment, a coin purse, which is it is detachable. And then you've got this, which one? This is detachable, so you can just wear it like this if you fancy. I would always wear it like that, I reckon. You can fit your phone in there, any tickets that you may have. You can also fly with this, like proper get in the Disney spirit. I have no regrets, I'm not gonna lie, I really love it. Right, so that is one bag down. The next bag doesn't have that much in. I picked up a pair of joggers which were in a large and i got and they were 12 pounds and they're a creamish kind of color i picked up a pair of similar ones in a different material and they bubbled so fast and i know it's primark and everyone's like oh you know it's cheap so blah 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 but i i did not enjoy the quality and i don't like to ever say that about any brand but i did not enjoy the quality of it but i thought i would try out a different style so this is a different material um and you've got the drawstring waistband and then you've got some like comeback come bat pockets to it as well if you guys can see and then at the bottom they're kind of like cuffed this had a matching jumper but i was not a fan of the jumper at all they're a bit more dressy so i feel like i could wear them out and about and do things with them um so yeah picked up those Ooh, what else have we got in this bag oh i picked up a pair of biker shorts i know we're in the middle of december slash the end of december um but i feel like you can never have enough biker shorts i love biker shorts and i thought i would just get prepped in time for spring and summer because i'm gonna rock these out come like mid-march april when i get my biker shorts out got them in a large plain black two pound fifty and i feel like when when like the warm weather comes out these are gonna sell out so fast so i just wanted to make sure i was stuck to in advance. I picked up this bag and I got this as a secret Santa for my friend Amelia as well and I fell in love with it. So it comes with a gold strap and then it's this beautiful like tan brown color, caramelly I wanna say. It does have the option for a longer strap of the pleather which probably will never use. I adore this. I feel like you could wear this as your everyday bag, obviously depending what you put in there. I really only just put my, my wallet and my phone in there and keys. Um, or you could obviously wear it if we're ever going to be allowed to eat or breathe outside again. Um, but I absolutely love this and it comes in a black as well, but I have so many black bags and I know that like chocolate, caramel brown tones are all in at the moment. So I thought I'll take him and he was delicious. So he was only, eight pounds oh a bargain i'm not gonna lie i bought a few bags i've got one more bag hang on so i brought three bags in total well i picked up this i actually got this this is gonna go back to christmas right yeah i got this from my friend lucy for her christmas present because i fell in love and i was like this is something that she would really like as well it was only six pounds and it's a little stone bag and you have again a longer strap but then you have your little small one which is like a nice little ruched one how cute and then you have your flap and then inside is just one compartment um but i just thought that was such a cute little bag for like drinks with the girls or you know sitting at home watching netflix by yourself because that's what we have to do now but yeah like i said this horn is so neutral toned i know i keep saying it but teeny bit boring oval i was gonna call them olive oval uh pads 100 of them for 90 pence that's less than a penny per pad. That's kind of scary, actually. That's a little bit scary. And they have these gorgeous, like mid-calf stone boots. They also come in black and they're ruched. The heel is beautiful on them. But my calves are so humongous that I just know I will not fit into them. I was, I actually had them in my hand at the till and I was like, just don't bother. Like, I'm just gonna be wasting it. I'm gonna come back and return them because my calves are just too big, but they're so nice. If you have smaller calves, please buy them for me. 
and just send me pictures of them, okay? Anyway, so I picked up these instead. So again, sticking with more of like the caramel kind of tone, pleather, really just a bug standard heel. I find like little ankle boots like these, my most comfy ones are Primark and New Look. So I was absolutely buzzing when I saw these. These were 12 pounds, 16 pounds. Um, and yeah, I just thought these were like jeans and all of the outfits basically that I've chosen will, uh, will work perfectly. Right, last bag. Is there only one thing in this bag? I feel like it is. Right, so this coat on my Facebook group, before lockdown 2.0 ended, so pre that, everyone was like, where is this coat? Where is this coat? Because Primark showed a picture of it on their Instagram ages ago. No one could find it. Now all of a sudden, everyone's got it. And everyone's like, do I get it? Do I get it? And I'm like, I've got it. <laughs> got really excited. I was like, Manchester Trafford has it and Manchester Market Street have it. So I got this in a 12 and it was 35 pounds and it is a teddy coat. Now I only have one teddy coat and it's like a proper chocolatey brown color. It's not very structured, whereas this one's a lot more firm and structured, which I like. Um, and the brown one is a bit too big, whereas this one's a smaller size, so it fits beautifully. It's got tortoise button shells. It's that same stone color. Can we just... Let me just get, just get everything, everything, look. Everything just matches um, and I'm obsessed. It comes with a little belt as well. And then on the hand, not the handles, on the arms, on the cuffs, there's a little buckle detail. But I, oh, honestly, this is the most sought after coat on my Primark group at the moment. So I'm so buzzing up about it. So that was my Primark haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs out. It helped me out so much. I reckon that we're all gonna be ending up in tier four very soon, if not already. This video is filmed before Christmas. So I don't know what the announcement's gonna be come when this video goes live, blah, blah, blah. Um, so this will just have to tie me over until then. I hope you guys are having a lovely festive time and have a great new year as well. Stay safe and thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.